Hello America, this is Call of Duty Goddess. Today is March 10th, 2016. I have an article here from InfoWars dated March 10th, 2016, and it's titled FBI Instructs High Schools to Inform on Anti-Government Students. A new FBI initiative based on Britain's anti-terror mass surveillance program instructs high schools across America to inform on students who express anti-government and anarchist political beliefs. High school students are ideal targets for recruitment by violent extremists seeking support for the radical ideologies, foreign fighter networks, or conducting acts of targeted violence within our borders. Yeah, communist and Muslim Brotherhood extremists in the White House and in the alphabet soup in our government. It goes on to state public school educators are in a unique position to affect change, impart affirmative messaging, or facilitate intervention activities, also known as indoctrination, including informing on students. So, the FBI wants students to rat their parents and each other out. So, it's, it goes on to talk about the FBI and federal and local law enforcement groups categorize many libertarian, constitutionalists, and other groups and individuals as sovereign citizens. According to an FBI counterterrorism analysis, sovereign citizens may refer to themselves as constitutionalists or freemen, which is not necessarily a connection to a specific group, but rather an indication that they are free from government control. The FBI considers the redemption theory, the abandonment of the gold standard in favor of a fiat currency, emancipation from the responsibilities of being a U.S. citizen, including paying taxes, and conspiracy theories, including the formation of a global government and a police state as indicators of extremists or sovereign citizen ideology. Everybody watching this video, that is you. Who? Anyway, uh, a national consortium for the study of terrorism and responses to terrorism produced by the Office of University Programs, Science and Technology Directorate at the Department of Homeland Security in 2014 lists sovereign citizens as the primary domestic terror threat in the United States, followed by Islamic jihadists, militia, patriot, and extreme anti-tax groups. Well, I have the FBI website here, and um, it lists their outreach partners. One of them is the Southern Poverty Law Center. See? So, it just so happens that I did a video a few days ago titled, Is Your Group a Hate Group? where I went to the Southern Poverty Law Center website and I had found that they were targeting groups like this one, Pray in Jesus Name Project. They're anti-gay and lesbian. They're a hate group. And then a couple hours after that, there was an article where the Southern Poverty Law Center was at it again. So that's what I titled the next video. Turns out they're targeting Pamela Geller saying that she was the reason for the San Bernardino Jihad massacre. So, let's check out the active anti-government groups in the United States and let's see if you're one of them. I'm here in Virginia. They identify 998 active extreme anti-government groups in 2015. Oh, I wonder how many of the um, jihadi training camps are on here. Let's see. I think there are two, if I'm not mistaken, jihadi training camps in Virginia there. Let's let's check that out and see how many jihadi groups that we can find in Virginia. So let's cruise on down here. Bear with me to Virginia. Well, actually, I think there's one in Virginia. There's at least one, I know. And one in uh, northern, or yeah, northern Maryland, up where up where the mountains are. Okay, so there's 41 in Virginia. American Patriot Party, 
Constitution, Declaration, Eagle Forum, Gun Owners, IRS, Oath Keepers, Outlaw Militia, Guard, Tax Freedom, Three Percenters, We Are Change. We are the people. So where are the jihadi groups? Okay, that's what it is. I know. Surely, surely they're on this hate map. Because jihadi hate, that, that, that makes sense to me. Okay, maybe I looked in the wrong place. So I'm on the hate map here in Virginia looking for jihadi groups, the jihadi training camps that I know there, that there's at least one. So here's Warrington, Virginia, white nationalist. Uh, there's Maryland. Alexandria, Virginia, neo-confederate. Black Separatist, that's Washington. Falls Church, public advocate of the United States, anti-gay and lesbian. KKK, now oh, that's in Maryland. I didn't know there was a KKKs. Another Maryland. Um, Maryland, so, um, G. So yeah, turns out there are no jihadi groups, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center on the hate group list. So let's go check out the jihadi groups and, and make sure they didn't pack up and leave town. Hopefully they did. Yeah, look at all those in Virginia. My goodness, there are three in Virginia, isn't there? One, two, three. Hmm. Wonder why Southern Poverty Law Center just totally ignores the jihadis. It's kind of odd, don't you think? Anyway, there you have it. And let's wrap this in a bow here. FBI instructs high schools to inform on anti-government students. Then we find from the FBI's own website that the Southern Poverty Law Center is one of their outreach partners. We go to the Southern Poverty Law Center with their hate map and their anti-government groups and we find that they're targeting patriot groups and not jihadi terrorist groups because I've proven to you that um, actually I have three and they're not listing any. So basically, the FBI, with the help of Southern Poverty Law Center, is targeting patriot and militia groups and not real terrorists like jihadis. The targeting has begun. Lock and load, ladies and gentlemen. Lock and load. This Call of Duty Goddess signing off, and as always, I've got your six.